we're talking about applying animations in PowerPoint. I'm going to move to the second slide because we have a lot of different things we can apply animations to. Let's go ahead and move to the animations tab. And before I can apply any type of animation, I need to go ahead and select something. So we'll go ahead and select this image first. And within our animations group, if I click the more drop down, you can see I have quite a few animations to select from. Let's go ahead and select fly in for this. We can see the number one here. We're going to talk about that a little bit more in a moment. But we saw the PowerPoint logo fly in. If I wanted to see that again, I can click preview. You know, went ahead and brought that through again. The PowerPoint logo flew in from the bottom, but maybe I didn't want that to happen. If I go to the effect options, I can actually change the direction of this animation. So maybe I wanted it to come in from the left. Just choosing that option changed the animation. Some other animation things you should note is the motion pass here. Maybe I wanted to do a loop. We can apply that motion path. You also have a lot more motion pass here within this group. And as you can see, there's more entrance, more emphasis, and more exit effects as well. So just note that. Let me move to this bulleted list, and I'm actually going to select all of the bullets within this list. Let's go ahead and apply an animation to this. Let's do grow and turn. We now have twos on the left of every bullet. And we saw that the animation brought them all in together. Maybe we wanted each bullet point to be brought in right after each other. Selecting those bullet points before I click the animation was not the way to do it then. I'm going to hit Control Z on my keyboard to undo what I've done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the outside box where these bullets are. And now I'm going to click on Grow and Turn again. This time we see that each bullet point has a number. On this slide, the first thing to come in is going to be the PowerPoint logo, followed by each one of these bullet points. We have more flexibility with these animations if we open up the animation pane. So let's do that. And what we're going to do is click this down arrow just to see more of what's going on. The first one we have is the picture, and then we have each one of these points. Maybe I want insert tables, charts, smart art, and media to be brought up to come in after the create and manage presentations. All I'd have to do with that selected is just click this up arrow. And now when this plays, that will play third instead of fourth. You should also note the drop down arrow here because we can change some of the settings like start with previous or after previous. We have some effect options and timings. Let's click on the effect options. And on the effect tab, we can actually apply things like a sound. So let me click bomb. We'll click OK. And we had that play. If you wanted to change that, you easily could. Some of those same things we talked about within this drop down can be found under things like advanced animation. And we have the triggers. We have our timings where we can have it start on click or with previous or after previous. You can change the duration as well as the delay. And then you can reorder the animations from here as well. While animations are not difficult to do, there's really a lot of things you can do with animations that if you're just quickly glancing over the ribbon, you might miss.